Hello folks, my name is Mark Lessig and this is the latest on the Cairns Arm Project. It's taken many hours to reproduce this with modern materials and this is the latest in our project. As you can see the finger has got an extra knuckle and it's got gears in here as shown on the last video. So as you pull at the string the finger opens, it's called voluntary open and then he lets go and the finger then closes. It's got a fair bit of range of motion more than the original cans and go again and the finger will open and it will close down on what um, you close it onto. Now it has got a movable wrist. Um, Charles here has worked very very hard on the arm, I'm very proud of him. This is the one in plastic and you can see the mechanism on the side. It's a self-contained aluminium uh, mechanism with its own separate crankshaft and own separate little brass bearings. There's the spring that opens up. It's also got a bell crank to uh, return the fingers to the right position. You can see the working of it there. Now, the way we went about this is we looked at the original blueprints on the net. We blew them up and then we copied them uh, virtually size for size. We also incorporated another patent of another hand and we manipulated the images and married. Now this is the finger which is shown in the last YouTube video and it's got a small tendons that go there. The tendons in this part of the finger that go in there. That's the tendons that actually pull the fingers shut. And there's also an anchor point, there's two uh, bolts going through. One is a pivot point for the fingers, that's that one there. The small finger is offset and one is an anchor point so that the fingers will roll around when through the levers you need a good anchor point. Now this is the uh, original over a hundred year old hand that we got off the internet. We got that arm complete. It belonged to a woman in Pennsylvania. It's, uh, we full, plan to fully restore this but we've modelled it on this and reverse engineered it. So we laser scanned it and then we, t we um, milled it out, our solid billet out of a milling machine on a CNC machining centre. This is my left hand, uh, which was cast in plaster at the university, and we've reversed engineered it and modelled it on the, as you can see, it's rather a large hand. We've broken away the fingers to get a sectional view of the fingers also. So, we've got this far. It's coming along nicely, it's got a very good range of movement, and we hope to debut it in the US very, very soon. Thank you for listening.